Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Hey, Colin, can you hear me? Checking to see if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. My All hair's right. not that great, so I don't want to go on camera, but I can if you want. Uh, your choice. I just want to make sure that uh, we can have this for posterity. Yes, 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 yes. You've taught me many things, and one is uh, be ready to be recorded. Like, <laughs> why not? So, what happened? What's the beef? Uh, what happened was is, is I got into the meeting and I've got a kind of a new th mindset of my presence in the group, right? Um, it's, it's around these fair conversations and we don't have any framework for our conversations. And as you know, that's part of our work to try to figure out what works well. Um, but in, I've noticed in Sunday and, uh, not so much open. Open still moderate, but Doug, but he doesn't really try to make it anything unless he, you know, wants to and everybody agrees to kind of a thing. Like everything's open, right? So you know that may happen, but not intentionally. But on Sunday, I think he's trying to, and and it's not about Doug or, and it's not what I say about Doug, whether it's good or bad. It's just, you know, what seems to be happening, and that's kind of the meta level. Like, wouldn't it be nice if we could? track the emergence if there is an emergence of our collective intelligence or, and stuff like this and that's kind of you know i think to what level we uh record like scientists you know our experiments of what we're doing or how much we just sort so wait of let a minute. it hold on so can i actually get the facts of exactly what happened yes please so 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 in essence that's my mindset so i'm not what I'm saying this for is because I'm, I'm not willing to be um, pulled into any stuff that's ridiculous. And I've learned long ago to let the really, right, but what exactly stuff. happened? Call it. What happened? Okay. Well, what exactly happened was that um, Doug challenged me later on and says, well, why are you even here? And this isn't the first time he's done that. So, you know, that's very confrontational. He said that uh, after you did what? Well, well, after he just doesn't understand and he thinks that um, I'm actually trying to cause harm, I think. That's what I'm, I'm getting that impression. Right, he, but like, what did you actually do that provoked him to say that? Well, I think I defended myself somewhat. So I think maybe interrupted. So maybe, maybe something you like that. You interrupted him or somebody else? Well, I could have interrupted any, any number of people. But, Repeatedly but the point, or one time? I would say repeatedly. Okay. I've seen you do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, I, I'll be silent for a long time too. I, I only speak when I feel like it's necessary. So, and, and that was the thing, like it did become about me. And when I left, I said, you know, I think Doug ejected me. I'm not sure, but he, he said, um, he said, um, he, you know, he said some, some things like quite nasty, uh, analogies and i said well, well look doug i said you know because he said you know i wasn't picking up on the signal that it wasn't about me it was about barry so and since i wasn't able to pick up on that signal he gave me a projective analysis of what kind of a person i might be right and i find that that very you know um uh, Okay, so before you get there, what yeah. I hear is somebody spoke or a number of people spoke, you interrupted them repeatedly, and then he said something that I can't quite yet figure out, and then there seems to have been an ejection event where he tossed you out of the group. Well, this, this stuff I'm talking about is all recorded. So let's yeah, talk about what wasn't recorded. Yet, so I'm still trying to figure out what happened because... Well, I don't know if you'll ever, if you'll ever see it because it's been like since what? before february since any i haven't seen any tapes come out since before february march april yeah i don't know when the yeah. last one is i know i've seen a few in the last two or three months but not everyone no i 
uh, maybe maybe one in February came out. But you know, I I I trust Doug. If he says he's going to put him out, he's going to put him out. I don't question. I'm just it's inconvenient. Did anybody so, say don't record this, or is it assumed that this was recorded? I I no, I think Barry mentioned to record stuff. But anyway, it's it's not. I don't think recorded or not is an issue. So. So the deal is, is that at the very beginning, Barry started getting very, very, very angry, like yelling at me, telling me things that he would wish would happen, and uh, to me, and uh, it, and and basically wanting me to be out of the GCC and out of his life. So, you know, he was really, really irate. Like I mean, like kick him out of the restaurant. Irate. Who was there when Barry did this? Heiner and Doug and Alex. So nobody else, just the four of you? Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know if, if you know, Heiner's been working with Barry and, and Barry's been working with Doug. So maybe they got a great relationship. And maybe Barry thought this would be a good time to lay it out, but it was it was pretty violent and it set the mood for the whole thing for me. So yeah, I had reason to interrupt because it became came focused on me. And at the very end, I mentioned, I said, Well, if this isn't about me, then maybe I shouldn't be here. And so it was conflict resolution um, bonanza. It was some some type of a format in Doug's head. I'm sure Doug has some kind of good intention, what he's trying to do, but it is not coming across well for me. You know, hmm. that's for sure. And if he's going to do a conflict resolution between me and Barry, or you know, ask Barry, because I said I said what I wanted to know is I want to know what what Barry what is Barry's complaint? Because I've heard before he says I bully, and uh, something else and you know we we have that on tape and that's pretty interesting that tape i've looked that over quite a bit and why does he keep persisting and he knows he's poking at me and stuff like this and he says well he wants to experiment with me and learn from me right so he's he's brought this on my anger because he doesn't care what i think and then he turns around and says well yeah and it comes and then, then then if i get upset and try to hold him to something He's just skipping down the road, like pushing my butt. Like, how angry can he make me to make me, you know, I think he's trying to provoke me to make me lose. And it really doesn't mean that to me, uh, much to me, because I'm more focused on this fair conversation thing, even though, that, you know, I shouldn't be my own lawyer here. <laughs> the, the point is, is that this is this, like everything that I've been doing has been um, digressing one step back, one step back, one step back, just to saying, like, if people can't have a fair conversation, and I do appreciate you, Sam, because you really do make an effort to make sure that people have consensus. And, and, and when you say that that's what you want, and I'm not saying that you always look for consensus. I'm sure when you're in charge of something and something has to be done, then you can give out orders. Like that's, that's the irony of the situation. I, and because I know that restraint, it gives me a lot of respect for you. And when you and me make mistakes in this weird, you know, GCC gas that we breathe because this is not normal gas. Like when you and Stuart, uh, was it, is it Stuart? Graham. Graham, yeah, Graham and uh, Kayla were talking. You know, Graham was saying, well, why don't you just, you know, tap him on the shoulder and, and have him take a break, right? There, there may be some merit in what he's saying, but at the same time, he doesn't realize that we're not working under the same normal, I would say, um, expectations like it's really it's it really is an experiment and it's because of that freeness and and anybodyness that you have to learn to deal with because you know i'm used to dealing with people that are pretty much trained to pay attention to what they're doing and then i have a lot of friends too who you know <laughs> they come in every variety i've got a really good friend who challenges me you know i, I don't want to make any comparisons but mm -hmm. it's it's represented in the group Okay, so can I ask a bit more? So when sure. this happened, when yeah. Doug either challenged you or said, you know, why are you here? Did anybody speak up at that point or was everyone else silent? No, I, I think that there's a, a understand, and I, I actually agree with it. Like Doug said that I like to hear myself talk. Well, that's kind of not true. I'm, I'm against being recorded against being on camera would would rather people look at my work and my ideas than, you know, I'm not trying to sell who I am right and they go into these big. So I think I'm a little bit different than a lot of the people 
in the touchy feely part of the group. And I think you have that. And I don't, am I answering your question? Who else? No, no. You, who else? Uh, nobody else spoke up for me. And what I'm trying to say is that I think that there is an air and um, uh, um, an atmosphere hmm. of people being frustrated. And I think, I think we've, we've expressed that, you know, jazz winders expressed it about people going in circles and, you know, we have this common complaint and it is very deep in me as well. And most of the things that I do is say, okay, if you're going to, if you're going to specialize on something, then put it into a show. Right. And we'll do the meditation thing. If I want meditation, I'll show up. I'll probably show up to support jazz for that. Right. Um, that's pretty you know, cool. Even if I don't do it, I do my meditation a different way. If jazz tells me my meditation is no good, then that's, now I don't want to get into another conversation, but I don't want to get into battles of whose meditation is, is more effective. If, 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 if I'm not appreciated for the fact that I have mindfulness and I don't do that kind of meditation. So this is, this is the conflict in the group when there's no focus and the, the frustration of repeating without agenda. So that seems to be, and so Heiner, Heiner was actually, I just wanted to add this part about Heiner because Heiner was saying, well, you talk and talk and talk and talk. Well, yes, I can talk a long time. That's not my intention. Um, my intention is to figure things out and, and, and work and jam, right? It's, you know, I would rather prepare and put out a report, but come to find out this is, this is how it, this is how it happens. You, you, you're on the ball, you get inspired, you meet people, whatever. Um, these people I can be friendly with, but they're not my friends. If we want to start talking about lewd comments of things like that, we could push pause and talk about some stories that we have personally. I, you know, but I'm not going to do that here, right? So it's a matter of having that mindfulness. So yeah, Heiner was bitching about, again, like he does, as you've heard him saying, and, and I agree with him. And I, I hate to be the guilty party. But at the same time, uh, I think there is ways out of this. And having um bad faith conversations that are manipulated is not the way to do it and so you know and and at that point you know i feel like uh, heiner's coming in on me he says why don't you just shut up he says you know that's not the first time he told me doug told me to go fuck off several times although it doesn't seem that way because he's a well, lawyer you told me that yeah well of course but i apologize because you know <laughs> i remember that but I've never heard a judge says, no, no, I was saying, fuck you, like, isn't you and the people, but no, Heiner was laughing. Um, Barry might have said, say it again. Yeah, and then Doug said, fuck you again. And that was the end of the show. And that's one of my complaints about manipulation. Doug will run the show up to the end and then he'll download something on you. And then, okay, everybody go. Like there's, there's no channel to have any resolution after doug it certainly speaks. sounds like a fun session i hope he posts it i will definitely yeah post. well well the deal is the deal is i think that putting these back channels that we're doing is releasing pressure and heiner said well you put too much stuff i said look heiner i didn't say it to heiner but look if i have something to send to you heiner i'll email it to you that's how i know heiner works heiner works from email i don't expect to be working in the threads with heiner if if i'm putting too much of my knowledge trail experiments in there and he can't follow them and nobody's even going to ask me what i'm doing <laughs> it's like it's like man i'm in my own league somewhere else you know doing something and i think you could see what i was doing you know it's searchable and it's and it's and it's it's not meant to be perfect it's meant to be you know i'm painting right i'm painting these ideas yep. out there yep. anyway i appreciate you talking with me sam it helps i'm not upset about it any more than the frustration that builds out of the fact i think that the initial vision of what I thought the GCC is, is tearing apart. Well, uh, I think the lack of structure, lack of focus, lack of agreements, inevitably, in my mind, would lead to this. And so it's just been a matter of time. So that's what I hope uh, your friend um, realizes, um, Graham, because, <laughs> you know, I, I spoke to him a little bit in the background. I said, no, we don't have to have a chat about it. It's okay. It's all good. But I just want you to realize that we're not, you know, because I was, I, I wanted him to know that, um, and I think I mentioned some stuff to you too, because I think I was a little bit irked when that happened, but then I calmed down because, you know, it's, um, if people are reasonable, you can talk to them, right? Yep. And, and, and I'm not getting that from some of the members and I don't need it. 
I'm able to uh, disassociate from the members and still treat them as equals in the group. And and well, that's you know, good. Yeah, no, and I've and I'm, I've said that. In fact, Alex and I on the I don't know if you realize the barn raising this week, and the after show. I think Alex and I, you know, made some good strides in, uh, I won't say burying the hatchet, but uh, realizing that there's no fruit in him chasing after me because he's got a different interpretation that I have, and uh, in no way was I ever trying to block him. That's the that's the deal, right? Are you? You want to ask yourself, are you blocking anybody from doing anything? Right. You can give them comments. You can spit out a lot of stuff. They can say, hey, you're noisy. Well, they, they can do one or two things. They can say, I want to leave this group, or they can say, the group is this guy too noisy. That's why we made the banter channel, right? Exactly. So we had a place to put that. So it's like, maybe if I go to Africa and dig a hole like 50 feet deep, then Doug will listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know but okay so <laughs> well i'm just saying you, like how far can you regress right so from this conversation when you propose this conversation what were you hoping would be accomplished actually just like the conversation we have with jazz i'd rather talk about technology if you want to know what i hope gets accomplished and that was one of my presentations what well we this talk conversation about, you and me the one-on-one -on -one right now yeah i know well i'm talking about the time that we're spending I would rather spend on talking yeah, to I know we would rather that, but we spoke about this morning's. Uh, well, how many times have we spoke? How many times have we spoke, Sam? And how many has it been about jazz or Alex or this fuckity stuff instead of, you know, actually talking about something that matters to me? You know? um, yeah, we could do that, but yeah. I didn't think that that was the extent. No, no, no. You, but I'm just answering your question, honestly. I don't, I don't know what to expect out of this. Like you said, there's no rules. There's no guideline. You know, we went through this a long time ago with rule zero when Alex started going off on me and telling the group that I was harassing him when his brother passed away and all this nonsense garbage, like as if I would have any interest whatsoever in harassing anybody for any reason, right? Yeah. I'll defend myself. Yes. But I'm not going to, the only harassing I was doing to Alex was trying to involve him in Coggle. Okay. So and, let me ask this. Is there any action you want me to take out of this no. conversation? No, not at all. You, you okay. can, you can come. I would like, I would like to know if there's anything that you, uh, that you have for uh, retrospect. Yeah. But well, I would have to watch that video first before I have any real view on it. Cause right now but, I don't have <laughs> the facts really around it other than uh, what you've given me yeah, and well. just in interest of transparency. Uh, Barry also texted me a bit, but I haven't spoken to him about it. Well, the thing with Barry is, is like, like he was really upset. And when I did interrupt, it was when Barry said, what was the advice that he would get? Uh, he had to go seek professional advice on what to do with this situation because he didn't know what to do with somebody that he just couldn't reach. Right. So for some reason, because I'm not interested in what he has to say. For some reason, he thinks I have a duty, a duty to listen to him and learn from him. And I don't. And in fact, I tried a few times. And after that, I just asked him for a simple definition. And I got into another long winded thing. And I said, look, either you have a claim what a soul is or you don't. That's exactly what I opened this chat for. Everyone's answered the question. Well, I can't I'm not even making a claim. And there's a soul. So we just spent 20 minutes of you yip yapping when you're not even making a claim. Right. So it was a total waste of time. And that, I think, premise is why it's so important to know what the premise is. And Barry has a lot to give. So I really would hate to see him uh, ditch the group because he's pretty clever. Um, you know, at the same time, um, I, I think he has some problems taking criticism and he has some anger issues. And when he dishes out the criticism, he doesn't seem to be able to take it back. Like he takes great offense, especially when he thinks it's someone he can berate, which is my experience. And actually, I don't even think that our first berating was me talking about his stuff. It was when I mentioned about theory of mind, he freaked right out because he thought, I think he thought, <laughs> here, this is kind of meta. I think he thought that I was trying to put sliders on a mixing board to diagnose somebody, which would be a bad thing to do to somebody. I'm not a doctor. The slider okay. on the book. So anyway, 
that's if that was what he was thinking i was being arrogant and thinking that i could you know and maybe it's really close to what he's involved in too so maybe it triggered him somehow i don't know but after that moment which wasn't recorded i think that was the 12th or whatever hmm. he he just he basically did what he did today that other people witnessed but he did it with the words i don't know what i'm doing i have no right to be working on this and I mean, I'm a, colon? yeah, I'm a disgrace. And he hung up and left that call. That's why I wish so much you can pull that out of the bits and bites. But anyway, are you talking about what he did in that seven hour, eight hour marathon session? No, 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 no. That was, that was different. That was me. See, I'm, I'm a, I'm a curious guy. Wait, 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 wait. So when okay. did he do this uh, hang up uh, event that you, was that just, that today? was, the, no, though, that was the, um, the, that was the day he said he wasn't even there and ties watched that happen in the chat. Like I waste so much time. He didn't even remember he was there. Like if you're going to tell somebody and yell at them, at least you can do is remember doing it. <laughs> okay. All right, Colin. So um, if I've got no action, I'll take this. No, no, no. If or when Doug posts the video from today, I will watch it. It sounds like a, uh there will be some moments that are worth watching there i'm telling you man if i have any thoughts out of it i will share those thoughts yeah well we'll just know that again i think the triggering um i i I don't want to get into diagnosing people but i would like to see the gcc move towards what burn raising foundations is i've been trying for three and a half years (laughs) <laughs> so and and I, I'm not doing it very well. But uh, no, I appreciate what right. Doug's doing. Don't get me wrong. I I think there's a place for that. I just don't think it's directed really well as a as a group. I think it's a Doug initiative, and um, I don't think he's screening his clients because I'm not one of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So let me go watch it when he uh, posts it. And just to be clear, since this is on record, do you mind sharing this with GCC? No, no. Go ahead. Okay. By all means. All right. Thanks, Sam. And uh, yeah, no, I had a great day today. I was with my my grandson and we went for a walk and looked and, you know, walk slow so we can look and see everything. Right. You know, the standard uh, thing they say about grandkids. What's that? If I had known the grandkids would be this great, I would have had them first. Yes, yes, yes. Well, he's 14 months now and he is just sparking alive. Like we play with the light switches and he'll flip his head and look at the light like he's getting it right and i'm Magic. doing the numbers with them one two three four and mm-hmm. actually i heard an interesting thing today uh, just watching the podcast with uh, dark horse and uh, heather hastings is into senesasia hmm. and although i don't think they could remember my poster boy for the gcc uh daniel Tennant is it the boy with the incredible brain that you know could recite pi and solve the numbers although apparently they, they beat his record <sighs> but anyway i won't talk about how i daniel saw a landscape this other guy was using uh memory devices making stories breaking it down but still 111,000 digits like i don't care what kind of story you're making that's a lot of digits guinness world book of records 111,000. anyway so 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 the whole point about um what we might do uh, I think we're we're getting off on this the the the, the story about uh, the grandchildren and, and 14 months and how they're, you know, and it's it is a very exciting thing and and you know I was feeling all that love while I'm hearing this noise in my head and it really was a, you know Doug Doug did attack it straight on I don't think I don't think Doug is is uh, I I don't want to criticize Doug for not trying to do a good job I think it's really difficult with the constraints that you're given in that kind of a format. That's what I think. So, um, and, and so unless everybody is already kind of half made up, it's not going to work. Like you can't have any, like uh, the, the constraints I think Doug's puts on that space, make it very unrealistic for, for people. It's not a courtroom. Right. Um, and I don't think he's ever been in a courtroom. He says, so I guess that's a bad analogy. I, I can't hear you. He was, I thought he was an attorney. He is, but I don't think he's ever been in the courtroom. I think right from the beginning, he's been fighting for people who need attorneys and trying to, you know, keep people out of needing attorneys and 
I guess anti anti lawyer. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, no, well, I was I was I was I was very disappointed um, again because I am really bringing myself into a mindset of being focused on what it is that I can contribute to this, and then, you know beyond this, I'm thinking about you know John Keldon's conversation community as well as um, Dig Life and as well the Metacogs. Um, I'm not putting a lot of time into those, you know, I've got other things on the go, just, <laughs> but I really, I really would like to feel like the GCC is a playground where we could all actually play with our ideas as bad as they may be, instead of just kicking everybody, you know, and I'm sorry if people bring up religion or whatever, and I say, show, show me the money, you know, but I don't think anybody's bringing religion as solutions. So I don't know what the, what the deal is anyway. Like if people want to have a spiritual day, have at it. But just let us know. So, you know, if it's if it's maybe Taoism, I might I might take part, right? I think that stuff's pretty cool. Um, if it's Catholics, probably not. No. My view is Taoism is not a religion, but that's my view. Well, I mean um I know what you mean. Yeah, religion. <laughs> I I know what you mean. Okay. It's a good anyway. substitute, and that's probably why I don't mind. It is spiritual, however. Yes, okay. yeah. Well, spiritual right, we Colin. have. So I will look for the uh, posting when it's available. And if there's any other thoughts you have on it, you know, correspond with me on text or messenger. I other just think that, if you've got no other actions that you're requesting, then I will just do those things. Well, I'm sorry it took so much of your time this evening. And I'm, I, I think with your involvement with what's going on, it's good for you to get it from the horse's mouth. No, it's good to hear it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And everybody else too. Okay. Talk to right. you later. See Thanks, Colin. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.